Well, it's 4.23, we got up, we are headed still like half asleep. We're headed to um, Colorado this morning. So this would be awesome, super excited. Like in the bed, they soon get out of here. Yay, we're going to Breckenridge this morning. And I don't know why we keep going to the airport so early, but there's no one there and we never have to fight any uh, hassle or anything, so that's kind of nice. But we have some exciting stuff planned. We're going on a whitewater rafting and we're also going on an awesome bike ride down Bell Pass, so I couldn't be more pumped. I'm gonna go wake Wit up. See how this goes. Yeah, he's gonna hate this, but it's hard to get Wit out of bed in the mornings. Oh, you're already up. Morning, sunshine. <sighs> oh. <laughs> he's up. So. We live in an RV um, that has a bedroom on one end and a bedroom on this end. And you make do on one bathroom when we used to have three bathrooms in our last house. So this is kind of interesting. We've been making the proper adjustments to deal with that. And when you get kicked out of the bathroom, you use this little mirror that's on your on your slide, uh, your closet door, so I'm trying to make that work. But anyway, it's okay, it works. <laughs> Good morning. It's four We're, in the morning. It's four in the morning. We're on our way to Colorado. Chad's coming in. Hi, Chad. <laughs> He's fixing the crapper for us before we leave. <laughs> Cause that's what you have to do in an gotta, RV. Got to clean out the tanks mm. and stuff. But we're about to yep. head to the airport uh, to go to Colorado. Uh, should be good. It's a pretty early flight, but the benefit of doing that is we get there sooner and we don't have to be rushed this evening. We didn't have any of this stuff, so it should be good. Uh, yeah, and the cabin is killer, mm. killer in Bar in Breckenridge. It's on the what four o'clock run? Is that what? It I think that's what it was called, four o'clock yeah, run. So. Well, anyway, um, I'll correct that later, if not. But beautiful home, and uh, it's got, way too big for it, three people. But it has a, <laughs> they say it sauna. sauna, sauna. That's the real way to say sauna, because I never, I didn't know that. But anyway, it has a sauna. I mean, people <laughs> say that the real way to say base is vase. Yeah. So. But anyway, it has that, and it has on. a jacuzzi in it, uh, <laughs> near it, so that'll be fun. We can go uh, take advantage of that, um, because it's going to snow on your birthday. That's surprising. I didn't think That's that it crazy. would be that cold when we were going to be there, but it is. So. And there's Daddy. Hey, Chadwick. Hey. Go get in the car. Go get in the car. He's the responsible one. we got to yeah. get out of here. tired it's four we got up at four so we're a little bit tired but um, we're flying out of Dallas uh, Love Field um, we usually fly out of Dallas Love Field because Southwest flies out of here and we really love Southwest Southwest has always been great the people have always been nice um, the only difference is that whenever you board with Southwest um, you have to like get in you have to like pre-check in because there's not like assigned seats 
So um, it's really not a big deal as long as you, you know, jump on doing that b beforehand so that you're in like one of the group A or B or something. If you're traveling with extra people, because like Chad and I and Wit, we want to kind of sit in the same group. So we get on that pretty quick. Um, but yeah, we just love uh, Dallas, love Field, we love Southwest. And, um, people are always nice, aren't they, sweetie? <laughs> Cutie. <laughs> also, everything is just really clean here, and they have a new um, thing that they just since since COVID, um, where you can't wear a bandana mask and you can't wear the mask that has the vent on it. You have to wear ones like this. So, um, if you fly, you need to make sure that you don't have those. If you show up and you're wearing a buff or something, uh, when you get to the gate, just go to customer service, they'll give you a free mask. Oh, so. yeah, that's right. And they have them, I think, right when you're getting in line, too, don't they? No, you have to go up to check in. And get oh, okay. Uh, but they always announce it ahead of time. It just started three weeks ago. Yeah. We were flying well, back from somewhere. Yeah, Florida or something, because we did this last week. And that's when you went to Vegas. Oh, maybe so. Maybe it was. All right. So like we YouTubed in um, the Denver airport once and we saw this gargle statue on it and like when they put it here it was in the food court in a different place but now it's sitting down here like at baggage claim and uh, it talks to you like somebody's operating the thing or something but it has speakers and stuff. and. If you've never seen it, like, I would look it up. It's kind <laughs> it's of like kinda, a viral with the video. Yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. It's, it's all these people like freaking out because it like, starts talking, talking to them. But I'm going to turn so. it around so you can see see it good. And it has like little hinges and stuff on it. So. You can tell around its neck it has hinges. Its mouth opens up and stuff. It's kind of bizarre. But anyway, that's it. <laughs> Let's go find Daddy. He's over there. Right there. He's being responsible again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We just got to Dollar Rental Car and they just upgraded us to a Ford Expedition because they didn't have our uh, Jeep Wrangler uh, ready because people were like going and trashing them and, and going off road, which is not cool. So if you're one of those people, don't do it. <laughs> but anyway, so here I we go. That's what we were going to do. That's why we were renting a Jeep. Shh, don't tell them that. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this plane and I was just like, what in the world was it doing in the middle of the trees? I don't know if you can see it. Oh, that, see that plane? I guess it is. Chad said it might be part of the Air Force Academy. Oh, I see the buildings and stuff now. I was like, what? We're headed to this place called the View House and it's supposed to have a rooftop uh, eatery area uh, right here in Colorado Springs and I'll show you the view in a minute it's really neat uh, wow nice <laughs> Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I can sit out there. Wow. Well, it doesn't disappoint. 
nice. I don't think that we'll have a problem eating this. We got some fried cauliflower and some nachos and yeah, it's going down. <laughs> made it to the Manitou Cliff Dwellings and this was apparently this was the southwestern Indians um, they're called the Anasazis and um, they were how old were they? Uh, they, they think that they got here around 800 to 1000 years ago and given that time frame it's really impressive that people were able to live out here like that and and they look really nice too, brick buildings. And yep. So this isn't actually the original uh, site for this. This was all dug out of a mountain and moved here by ox and donkey, uh, 1904 to 1907. It's from what Jenny read, it was a three year construction process yeah. to get it all moved up here. And, uh, apparently there was looters trying to steal um, all the old bases and stuff. Mm -hmm. So and they, they were, uh, demoted out, moved it up here for safety for everybody to enjoy. And then, so there's like 40 rooms or something in here. And there's like one, I think that's like three stories. So I'm really excited to go in there and see that one. And I've always wanted to do this. So I'm like super pumped. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> I feel we'll bad for the horses. <laughs> <laughs> we'll show you along the way. Well, they probably <laughs> looked a lot better back then. Oh, goodness. That's his bedroom. You can crawl through there. Why don't you go through there? It does feel cooler. I think I'll go the through the grown-up door. <laughs> Watch your head. Ooh. They would grind their meal here. That's their trash? Storage bin. Oh, for their wheat and cellar. Oh. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Wow. Oh. It's so cool. Oh. This is massive. I'm coming to get you. So 
Wow. Oh, that's cool. <gasps> Look. That's cool. Look at all the rooms. What's it say? Oh, the ventilation shaft. Wow. This is the blockhouse structure. Look at him through there. <laughs> oh. Hey! <laughs> it feels good in here too. They kept cool, didn't they? <sighs> Did he go through there? Oh. Oh. Hey. Boy. <laughs> What you drinking on? Not yeah, supposed to be drinking beer, man. <laughs> wow! And you just come out here and it opens up into just beauty. We have to social distance, guys. Here's the balcony structure here. How cool is that? I'll take the one with the balcony. Yeah. What about you? What if you had to pay more rent or had to be a chief or something? What's in there? Oh, Ooh, it's nice and cold in there. It goes up there. I'll take the downstairs so I can climb out my window whenever I want to. say that if you have to use the restroom when you get here that you need to go stand in line because it's going to take you a hot minute to get through that line so that was the only downfall is because they with COVID you know they're letting only so many in at a time and so we waited in line for the restroom for a while but it's a beautiful gift shop I mean it had you know just pottery and and you know replicas of things that just were beautiful um really pretty stuff but i've been wanting to do this for a long time and chad made my little dream come true so i was just really glad that we got to come and walk through this yeah and uh do y'all have any positives or any negatives or anything it was great i thought yeah. definitely yeah. worth the stop this is history y'all yeah. come take your time and read and you know, if you need to go to the restroom, just probably go somewhere <laughs> beforehand, but it's, it's worth it. Definitely. So, so many places in America you can stop and see something a thousand years old. 
Yeah, yeah, that's the truth. And and what did they say? It was the most accessible um, pueblos um, than the ones that you have to trek off to get to. This is the most accessible one. So if you Sorry, have handicap right. issues or things like that, this is where you want to come. So, but we got a um, white water rafting trip planned, and we also have um, a biking. Uh, biking down Vail Pass. Yeah. So that'll be fun. We'll take you along for that too. We made it to the house. Diego. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I don't even know. Okay. No, this is a good blooper. No, I don't even know. I don't know why. Like, I don't know. I don't either. I'm tired. I mean, okay. Good morning, four yeah. o'clock in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Where are head? I did it again. What? I'm cutting your head off. There's your head. Yeah, Over here. Just, no, you don't have to just turn like the that. phone. Don't. <laughs> in a yarden. What was that again? <laughs> oh, boy. I don't even know if he's saying it right. Are you saying that right? All our, is it Ick. Norwegian? Dutch. Dutch. All our Dutch friends. Can, is, is, Ick in a yarden. I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We're all there. Okay. Here we go. Uh, uh. Colorado. And what are you laughing at? <laughs> I guess you didn't stop that. Oh.